Gushing Over Magical Girls is an animated series based on the manga written and illustrated by Akahara Ananako and published by Tashagro. The series revolves around the main character, Haji Utina, a high school student and a huge fan of Magical Girls, also known as Magina. The city she lives in is protected by the Tris Magia, called Magica Machenta, Magica Azura, and Magica Sulfur, also Magica Moon. No, I'm kidding about the last one. The Triss Magica fight against the villains of the evil enormous organization. Utina's true dream is to join them and fight against evil, and one day she seems to get her wish when a small, cute, chibi creature called Vinilata gives her the power to transform into her dream magia. Unfortunately for Yuta, she never learned to never trust small, cute, talking creatures, and what she transforms into is actually a villainess. Filiata works for the Enormata organization as a recruiter, I guess, and when Yuta refuses to help and tries to leave, he blackmails her. Enolatu then arranges the Tris Magica into meeting the new villainess, and Yuta is forced to then fight them. Yuta seems to have a natural talent as a villainess, because not only is she able to fight them 3 versus 1, she also awakens her hidden powers of being a sadist and maybe a bit of a perv, because all her summons seem to just use etchy attacks to torment the poor Tris Magica. While the Tris Magica managed to escape from Yuta's tender loving care and force her to retreat, Vinalatu learns the key to Yuta's potential is in her interest in SMS play. He uses this to make her transform and fight the Tris Magica at any opportunity. Though I say that Yuta is forced into these fights originally, it doesn't take long before it seems that she doesn't need much convincing into releasing her inner status and enjoying herself. She also seems to come to accept this and decides on her villainous name of Magi Bezinus presumably to hide her secret identity. The humour of this anime mostly revolves around the Echi and the Schadenfreude. The scenes with Yuta knowing who the Tris Magia are, but them not knowing she is Magia Beja is amusing. The art style, music and acting are all good. The art style uses colourful effects in the fight scene and in the general style. Please don't make an etchy link to that comment. The background music works well in the fight scenes and the more relaxed atmosphere, while the acting portrays the characters' emotions well. The series that this series most resembles is an explosion on this wonderful world, with both involving magical girls and the subversion of the magical girl themes in their own way. 